guys, Wes back with Auto Mafia Racing. Today we got a two valve in the building. This is a PI two valve, it's a 2001 convertible. We're gonna go ahead and put it on the dyno, see what we can make. Um, it, we don't really know what tune is on it. The owner just got it. It seems to have full bolt-ons, but we, he doesn't even really know what's on it. So we're gonna take a look. We're gonna check it out. We're gonna figure out what everything is doing on it, and then we're gonna make some power. So it is a two valve, so who really knows, but let's get it done. So as you guys can see, it's already evening time. Sun's going down. You know, everything's looking good. But we got the car on the dyno now, and we're just waiting for his SCT device to update. So it's one of the bad things about SCT. doesn't like to update that fast. And this thing had not been updated in a while, apparently. So it needed over 3,000 different updates that are updating down to the device. So we're having to wait for that. So while we're waiting, we got the car strapped up. The dyno's ready to go. So, fingers crossed everything goes well, that the tuning device, that X4, works A-OK, -okay, and we'll move on from there, but we're just going to show you guys the car. There you go, guys. It is a 2001 GT. Now, we are working with full long tube headers. It's got MSD coils, aftermarket injectors, aftermarket MAF, BBK, um, throttle body plenum, a cold air intake over in the fender. Obviously, we got some different sized tires, and it probably has gears, and we know it obviously has an exhaust system, which is Magnaflow. So, we got our strap down. It doesn't sound too bad, so we're going to basically go for it. I'm going to strap it. I'm going to put an O2 sensor in where one of the rears was going. That way I can see what the car is actually, you know, how lean it is, how rich it is, and we'll get it tuned up correctly that way. But should be good. Again, fingers crossed. We'll wait and see here. I might have to check back in the morning once this thing finally finishes. Say good morning and what's up to the turtle, guys. My bad. Tortoise. Later, dude. So it is obviously the next morning, guys, and... The SCT device took forever to update. I tried it late last night and it didn't work. So we went ahead and wrote a custom tune for it, threw it onto his device forcefully, and so now we're gonna go try and see if the car will actually take the tune. Um, I don't know what the issue is with SCT. Sometimes they do this, it's annoying. There's nothing wrong with the car per se that we think or know of yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and see if it will connect. And if it doesn't, he's gonna need a new tuning device. We'll swap it and we'll get him done. Booyah, guys, it looks like it's working. Clearing the trouble codes, which there won't be. That's just the, what it does. Download complete. So we're gonna go ahead and do a stock pull on the car guy. So this is how the car has come to us. I'm gonna crank it up here and we're gonna do a pull and we'll see how that goes. Fingers crossed, um, hopefully it makes like 200 horsepower, maybe more. I mean, it, it might not even be a stock tune. It might be a tune loaded on the car already. So we don't really know, but um, we got the wide band hooked up. So this will help us be able to tell. So we got it cranked up. We'll let it warm up a little bit, but. Doesn't sound too bad. We'll get it rolling on the dyno and uh, let her warm up the temperature, get that water temp nice and uh, ready for a hit, and then we'll make a hit. These cars usually come with about 255 horse from the factory at the crank. So really, anything over 200 horsepower should really be considered a, a pretty decently running vehicle. Let's do it, set up the temperature. Let's see what she makes. Right, guys so we just did that pull oh hey cody hey you heard that thing you're getting out of your car what do you think it made mm, 270 look at the look at the graph hey two, oh, 228 228 guys you see that 228 horsepower and 273 foot pounds of torque so, that, honestly, like I said, guys, anything over 200 is about to be expected. This is a full bolt-on two-valve. It is a PI motor. They changed that up, you know, at around 99, and after, then you got the PI motors. So, that's a performance improved 
where they, they gained a little power. So I think that might have been 265 then from the crank from the factory. But either way, if you guys saw that pull, did you notice our air to fuel ratio? It was stupid rich. So we're going to take care of this guy. We're going to lean it up to where it should be so that he is running just on the money. And I think we're going to get an easy, oh, I don't want to put my foot in my mouth, 10%. So I think we can gain 25, 30 horsepower. I don't see why that's out of the question. Um, we're going to aim for more, obviously, but hey, that'll be a start. Let's load our tune up and make a first run on our pull. So here's a closer look, guys. So it did make 273 foot pounds of torque. So as you can see, we started the run basically at 2,500 RPM. We jumped into it. So the car is making decent torque. That's not bad. And it carries it out, you know, at about 4,500, and then it starts really dipping down. So we will see where we can gain. Um, and we did hit a hard limiter. So we will uh, change that up, let it rev a little, little more, and we'll see if we can increase that horsepower. So this is on SAE. That was a unloaded run so that was just using inertia um we'll get it going but yeah 228 273 i think we can do better so we got our tune loaded on the car we're gonna go ahead and crank it up make a pull and see if we can do any better than 228 i, I better do better than 228 but it will be our first tune this is my base tune on this car so we'll see how much better it is and then we'll tweak it and tweak it and tweak it until we're getting those good numbers like we want. So let's make this thing rip. So let's spin the numbers around. We made 250 horsepower on the dot and 293 foot-pounds of torque. So I'm very happy with those results on our first tune. We're going to tweak it a little bit, see how uh, it looks, and then we'll see if we can get those numbers a little higher. So we just uploaded another tune, guys. This is probably going to be our final one on this two-valve. We've done a couple uh, different revisions to it. I think it's going to run really good. So, Cody, guesstimate. What do you think we're going to make on this pass? Mm, it made... Made 250 and 293. 250, 293. I think with another tune, we might be able to push it to 300 torque. I think so, too. So I'm hoping for 300 foot-pounds of torque... And I'm hoping for 255 to 260 out of the horsepower. I'd be very, very happy with that. There's zero head work done. Um, it's not an MPI to PI, you know, conversion. It's just a bunch of simple mods to it, just bolt-ons. So anything over 250, I'm good with. So let's run it.
awesome. So we just get that last pull. I'm stoked. This thing is ready to hit the streets much smoother throughout the entire RPM band. We didn't pick up a ton of power, but we picked up what I wanted to. We made 261.2 horsepower and we made 300.1 foot pounds of torque. So that is awesome. It's ready to get out of here. We're gonna call the customer, have him come pick it up. We'll go take it on the street, show him how much better this thing feels, and he'll be happy, and we'll get it on the road. So we got the owner here driving, guys. He's never driven it with this much power, basically. We added like 25 to 40 horsepower for him. So I think he's gonna like it. We're just gonna go on a little test drive. We'll see his reaction when he gets on it. Heck yeah. sound way better it was so like i don't know it was trying to die all the time yeah well, now, now we're good now she wants to go baby man i bought this car off of craigslist about a month ago yeah been running around having some fun she's a little doggish but uh, my man here hooked it up on the dyno and she's ready to rip now yeah she's smoking them he had a little uh, trouble keeping her straight when we launched it there for a minute because she broke the tires loose but she's definitely a, a little more of a ripper now might have to convince him to get some nitrous or some boost to have some real fun but she's much faster than she was thanks for bringing her to us and uh enjoy yes yes sir take care Thanks for watching guys, make sure to like, share and subscribe and we'll see you next time.